um, little hyper. Might not want to choose that type of fragrance. There we have it, our hummus bowl. <laughs> I forgot I had that, like that. Now this is spur of the moment. be feeling a um little hyper i had exactly half a glass of iced coffee before this i've not had coffee in oh my goodness years years that's that's why it, i don't have coffee often i have to be really tired this has been one of those days will i buy it again after i after i finish off the coffee no i had to be really tired <laughs> really I'm, I'm just in coupled with the teeth staining like no I like pearly whites you know yeah we got a lot to get done it is self care day all over again possibly we can I have a lot to get done as you can see quick update I had another one of uh, those uh, greenies green things happen on my nail there and so I just took off everything what I figured out after doing research is that when I did my nails the last time on the extreme glow up transformation not long ago is that you know air bubbles are not your friend when you're doing nails so if you got any air bubbles when you're putting glue down or you're curing gel that's when those uh, little greenies come in it's time to lay on heavily the self-care nails and we've got some housework to do shower first and i'll show you guys what i'm eating <laughs> until today so what I'm learning is that wet these first before you use them that way they go on easier one on a a <laughs> I think the one glass of the of the iced coffee was enough for me. I've been on this a while so I've been loving the smell and I like layering it with um, that baby oil gel. I don't know why I am putting this on here. And I got the exfoliating gloves on. Let's wash first, then exfoliate next. keeping the thing going so it's still kind of tropical with the coconut but i'm still keeping a little gourmand mixture to it and that's basically what i'm aiming for this spring slash summer those elbows are uh still in need of moisture On in here with hypnotic and poison from Christian Dior. I've not touched this one in a minute. You see the color? Nice. Smells good. Now, if you're not a fan of really sweet, sugary type of scents, or you don't feel like layering it with something to offset it, this one might not be for you. I 
Christian Dior, the Poise line came out in the 80s. The first one was, I think, ooh, late 80s. And then from there, they released, now I don't know if this was the next one after, Hypnotic Poison, Poison Girl. There, there's, there's a few more out there. The last one was released around just before 2010 or in 2010. I'm going to make a statement. I'm a little nervous about it. Might not want to, um... <laughs> Warm choose that type of fragrance. Now I'm going a little backwards of my normal routine, but for me, it's just as long as it's done is all I care about. But um, in skin. <laughs> I am so glad I decided to get in the shower first before I decided to do anything, especially about those nails. I think that's the mistake I made before, but let's get lunch together. One thing I like to do every once in a while, I like to have hummus but make it into a soup so i'll show you guys how i do it i also like to add a green vegetable to it i think i'm gonna add a few brush sprouts i'm gonna rinse these first so i take a bowl here got a spoon got a bottle of water or either run water from your sink I prefer to use butter. I'm going to first put in hummus. Either use a half or a whole, depending on if I want to fix a lot. We're using half this time. Love hummus. Love hummus. Let's do that right down the middle into the bowl. Of course, it's sliding because hummus has oil in it. In case you didn't know, I put almost half into it. I like seasoning, any seasoning. So we have onion powder, a little bit in there, garlic powder, a little bit of that in there. Now be careful with garlic because you can overdo it and then, then once you take a bite, your breath is hot and burning and you got garlic breath. Then, um, tropical sazon. Love this. There's sometimes that I eat this as is. Perfect way to extend the life of get the most out of your hummus because hummus tends to be like thick and creamy, but unless you're making it yourself, they don't come in very big um, containers. That tastes good. Oh yeah, the seasoning kicked it up a notch. I'm opting to eat this as is, but we're going to butter and lightly salt, saute a few of these Brussels sprouts. Slice them first. So here I have a couple carrots. I just, as you can see, I cook as I go. I'm gonna have myself a hummus bowl. Hummus is prepared. I had some leftover carrots here I bought from the grocery store. I think I'm going to just dice them up just a little bit and I'll give you guys a final presentation. There we have it, our hummus bowl with baby carrots. I decided not to dice them up at the last moment <laughs> and not to put all of them in here. And very lightly butter sauteed Brussels sprouts. Let's dig in. And of course I have leftover water from me making the hummus bowl. Ah, but hey bun like to cut down using as much salt as possible 
that's just me and then the hummus that is in it's already it's already seasoned for those that don't know and you're new here i have been plant-based for two going on almost three years that'll be in a couple weeks that it'll be three years i started off just vegetarian which means i was still at the time eating dairy i still am but only when i go out as far as at home i try not to buy any dairy products all dairy free that way i don't have as easy access to dairy and it makes the transition a bit easier why am i trying to get off of dairy well you know and one thing I'm really grateful for is that had I not gone plant-based, I would not have known about how delicious vegetables are and how many ways you could fix them, especially mushrooms. I would have never discovered oyster mushrooms. They kind of taste fishy or seafood-like. Lion's mushroom, Maine's mushrooms. I wouldn't have got into mycology, which mushrooms are in the study of that so a bit of a nerd yeah there's there's that <laughs> long as i'm on the straight and narrow and i try to do my best i don't eat the same thing every day but it's plant-based i do okay all right so i got some laundry to take care of so i figured i'd do a load have those washing while I put my nails together. Pod. Laundry pot in here already. I don't think I do. Still dropped. <laughs> use this kit a while as far as the next time I do my nails use the beetles nail tips and glue set and I have a nude acrylic a custom color I made I'll link you guys to what I used in a pinned comment and probably keep a clear layer of acrylic on top So I got here my whole spread of what I'm going to use for my nails. Make this process easier. And this is going to be my first time of me using the method with curing my nails using that little uh, baby lamp right there. Let's get into it. <laughs> inspired by my outfit of the day my fit yeah this Beatles kit absolutely like it a whole lot I don't know if I'll be doing it like that all the time but um I, my load uh was ready for me before I was done with my nails so now it's absolute go time and crunch time for my life I kind of figured that this would happen. Finish washing way before I finish my nails. That's okay. Because that's um, getting two things done at once. One less thing for me to worry about. Let's uh, get these out of here and into the dryer. I pretty much took the cover off this couch. So this load was already in the dryer. I'm just gonna fold everything. You hear um, vehicles passing in the background. Please don't mind that. You know how you're going through laundry and um, 
pieces of clothing you've washed in the load and it's like you <laughs> I forgot I had that like that yeah this this is one of those very nice dress I, I don't do many dresses so so there's that for some reason this time around I'm really enjoying the self-care like extremely it's a sign to keep going you're enjoying your self-care activities that means don't stop <laughs> continue <laughs> I've been making more intentional uh, choices to spend more time with my Heavenly Father. That's also made a difference. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Jesus is, <laughs> God's just such a gentleman. He forces no one to follow him do what he tells them to he, he cool like that the Lord is cool like that I mean he, he he gives you the free will and then he gives you the choice and then he still lets you choose knowing that one of the choices is not to do what he tells you to that's a still a choice and he will honor that <laughs> load for the night. Damn, put these in the dryer in the morning. And we wait. Now this is spur of the moment. I've not been to this particular location in a minute. I'm going to head down the tree to see what they have. Self-care, oral hygiene, everything in between. So we've got the LA Colors Color Flare. These are like the shortest nail tips I've ever seen and they have color. Just in case you, you, you're you not that good, you're not that skilled, which is okay as well, at um, painting your nails. This works, you just have to get um, a nice UV light. Beatles has a kit, very cost efficient. And you can have yourself a nice set of press on nails that won't come off easily. Unless you like the little sticky tabs that go with it. Let's see what they have. It has been almost an it <laughs> by the time you guys see this, it will be still literally 11 months, nearly a year since I've been to this location in particular. These have got to be the cutest little tweezers in the world <laughs> and I'm just giving y'all a spread of everything they have some pretty nice stuff here I always say it, it's not the standard but Dollar Tree has some pretty great um, things when it comes to self care sometimes they have name brand stuff do you see this? I think I'm going to put this in a thumbnail. A mini gel lamp. I was literally just talking about one. I was telling you guys about the press on nails. And we see this. This is too, almost too good to be true. I mean, I'm going to have to gift these. But Mother's Day is around the corner. That's all I'm saying. Those aren't cheap. <laughs> Have you seen Amazon? That last minute gifts it there. That's a deal. I'm gonna get to the um, the body care specifically, but they have makeup here. 
makeup accessories, makeup sponges. There are even these eyebrow stencils. Makeup brush cleaning mat. They have bigger ones. But, you know, it's a good place to start. Plus, different Dollar Trees have different things. So what you may see in one, you won't see in the other. I'm back here to oral care. I mean, I'm seeing the same trend. You'll figure out what I mean in just a moment. So we have this, Colgate. And we have this, you know, charcoal thing again. You know, when I was in Target, I just happened to saw that, see that um, charcoal mouthwash and you know Colgate Colgate it's everywhere you know hide your toothbrush hide your mouthwash charcoal everywhere I mean I get they combine it with mint but it's being infused in everything it must be popular right now really there's ultra bright and close up I've not seen these two brands in years. And I think they've been out since I've been a kid. So, very long time. So, I have things for the kiddos here. Reach. And this is what I saw. Charcoal infused dental floss. Reminds me of the um, toothpaste tabs I saw on TJ Maxx. If you haven't seen that vlog, I'll link you to it. Right about now. Charcoal infused dental floss picks. I mean, it's it's everywhere. It's every hide your teeth if necessary. Yeah. And we have Yardley hand lotion, oatmeal and almond. I've never seen this before. I'm not really planning to pick up anything unless it's something like really like <laughs> I want to try. Men's body lotion. I have um, my um, hangups about using body powders. I mean, if you're allergic or your skin sensitive, you have to be careful about that. Power stick. This is really like the equivalent of Axe when they came out with a deodorant spray for her. I think they discontinued that soon after, but it smells pretty good. This basically the dupe for that. Derma antiperspirant. Cooling 48 hour invisible gel. Okay. Not sure if I'm ready to switch deodorants. I mean, I haven't got into, into the native yet. I've gotten to the dove and then I switch right back to secret. There is raspberry shave cream lavender shave cream berry burst shave gel and of course you know i'm not going to leave the man out which means i'm going to show you the products charcoal facial wipes i'm telling you it's everywhere it's everywhere i get there's benefits for charcoal for your skin for your health for your teeth even to whiten your teeth but there's such a thing as too much now, now here at Body Care, I'm going to start with that first since I'm seeing that first. There are, let me figure out what this is, if it'll focus. Don't you start. I have here. This is a natural bath sponge, so thinking you're supposed to use it within this netting here. And then once you're done with it, I mean, this thing, the same thing still applies with the bath sponge, as far as how long you should keep it, as it does with this with the little handle to shower proof. Max two weeks, switch them out. You're playing a dangerous game if you're trying to keep them for longer. Because you don't really know what you're exposing yourself to. Shower curtain liner, hand towels. 
Which could also double as washcloths. They're pretty nice ones. There's lots of microfiber I've been seeing in stores. Yeah, really nice. They have bath brush with the handle. Now I like these because they get in hard to reach spaces. But they're made out of the same material as the regular hand shower poofs without the handle. Still got to switch those out. Of. Soap savers for you guys that love bar soap. Yeah, you got to get organized. These look like they would be great. Facial scrubbers. Sleep mask. Shower caps. Matter of fact, I need to get a few of these when I do my hair deep conditioning in the future. We have the spread of body carrier. There are also some Bath and Body Works dupes depending on which location you go to. Just want to put that out there. Like this here slumber sleep bath and body works has a collection like that melatonin based perfumes fragrance lots of dupes here shower fizzers or they call them shower steamers facial hydrator last time i was here they had released, and this was just literally last year, the um, Lady Speed Stick Body Wash. Here is a liquid hand soap refill. What's those Nouveau hand soaps almost at body washes. Dial with their soap. Rose Petal Kisses Bath Bomb. Bath Salts. Pretty is suave hand soap. Definitely really nice. I'm not here for this, but I'm just here to show you all. I like this one in particular, the milk and honey hand soap. It smells the best to me. Of course, that's just my opinion. Let me let you guys let me know what scent of hand soap you guys like. See, <coughs> is the soft soap exfoliating body bar. Now I'm at a crossroads here. This is the same bar of soap that has body wash that I've done a review to. I'll link you to it right about now. Uh, this is obviously new. I've never seen it before. Then here's one with lavender. There's the Jergens the Zest. Crisp. These remind me of the X. The packaging. The font just a little bit. Yeah, they don't have any more of that, um, Lady Speed Sick body wash. So, that, that has ran its course. I almost forgot about the feminine hygiene area here. So, these are also great to get as far as travel. Plus, um, I don't know if they're doing this still. There's a coupon for a dollar off. The value might be different on the inside of these, but hopefully they still have the coupons on the inside of these. Three to a pack. Get a coupon. You can save a coin, especially with what's going on now. Cost of everything going up. Perfect deal. So you can stay stocked. They have here a, um, a dupe for Tampax Pearl. Six. Perfect for travel. If you notice, there's a theme here. That's super. But then there's also the regular absorbency. I don't know what's going on with my words today. <laughs> then we have the feminine cleansing wipes. I mean, for all budgets, this is really no excuse. There's always somewhere where you can start with your body care. 
carpet. That was lavender. The first one here was just the fresh scent. So want to make sure you guys didn't miss that. We have maxi pads. We have carefree the liners. I like getting scented of everything. I liked it. You know, just just as an extra layer of security, when you know, you know, you're smelling real, real good. <laughs> they even have mandarin orange, the feminine wash, and it's like you could put together an entire regiment of everything: creamy coconut, and then they just have like a basic scent here. They used to have in Dollar Tree years ago a um a dupe for summer's eve the nighttime cleansing wash they used to have a dupe for that now they don't aisle of hair accessories shampoo conditioner these are back again for those of you that know if you don't know this is for you too stackable organizing drawer put several of these together you have the perfect organization space for your makeup and makeup brushes just want to put that out there you can see brushes going in there lipsticks glosses all of the above i used to love these until i figure out that's why i found out how much this tangles your hair i mean you can literally feel those clips in your hair hair rollers some of this stuff is bringing back some really nostalgic feeling to your memories you have men's shampoo power stick see I just keep seeing where these brands where they're known for one thing crossing over into other things two in one they always did this for the men Will we can we get a two in one a three in one for women it's just I don't think there's too much to ask, you know. We have a smoothing jojoba oil hair mask. We have styling gel. Now, some of this stuff I've seen before, but some I haven't. This hair gel here is um, similar to Wetline. The packaging, the color scheme, but I don't think it's associated with Wetline. Peach and pomegranate bubble bath. This is about the only time I'll see two in one for us ladies. Shampoo conditioner. This is the cutest thing. Method. As much as I've been hearing about their body washes for women, they have a line for men. I can get this to focus. It's not focusing like I want. This is a travel size 3.4 fluid ounce of juniper and sage scent body wash. Perfect for travel. I'm just smelling it. It smells really good. Then we have, this is basically the whole area here. And they have, I love the packaging here. Jergens, Palmers, Crest, Nivea, Plackers, Toothpaste, Mouthwash. Perfect for travel. Especially with um, the restrictions that you may have trying to get on a plane. So this is the area for that. Including tissues there at the bottom for the kiddos. Since this trip was so short with Dollar Tree, I'm gonna conclude it here. But then, since it's next door, I'm headed to CVS. So of course, we got a voice over here Every time I come to CVS, not every single one, but the ones I've gone to so far, full of music. So here I headed straight for the body care. I almost went down the aisle with the oral care. You guys saw a little bit of that. Here we have the Dove Body Love Collection, the basic body cleansers. The Moisture Boost and the Age Embrace. Currently, they're the only ones that have the pre-cleansed shower butter. Radiance Renew, we need one for that, and Acne Clear. I'm just saying in case you're watching though. <laughs> I just I just figured I'd just keep making my request. You know, just put that, put that on their brain. 
Then we have the bar soaps here. I did notice that the the pink bar of soap is the only one I have seen out of the Dove bar of soap so far that doesn't have a matching body wash. Like the pampering one with shea butter and warm vanilla has a matching bar of soap. The coconut and cocoa butter one has a matching bar of soap. Even this gentle exfoliating one has a bar of soap. There's only a handful that doesn't, but that pink one definitely doesn't have it. The Deep Moisture, I have a review of. The Gentle Moisturizing one, I have a review of. The Nivea here, the Nourishing Serum, I've not yet tried that before, neither these three. I noticed the bottles, the size of the bottles are a bit bigger than I remember, but not nearly as big as when I saw at where I saw in Ross, in TJ Maxx, and in those apartment stores. That's where you get the bigger sizes of these retail brands of Dove, Nivea, so forth. Just want to throw that out there in case you looking for more bang for your buck. You know, really, you know, save a coin. We have Caress here, the Daily Silk and the Liquid Gold. I both have reviews for that, as well as this Coconut and Hibiscus Body Wash from Shea Moisture and that Body Butter. The Scrub and the Bar Soap, I have yet to get to. Then, of course, we cannot leave the men out. This is the first time me seeing this, so definitely this is new to me. That sensitive skin body wash. Men can have sensitive skin, too. With them being outside and working on stuff and building, and they still can have sensitive skin. The Swagger one, that smells really good. <laughs> the last time I remember smelling it. I didn't take the time to do that with this trip because I just wanted to see you guys to see what was here in CVS being that I haven't been to this particular location in nearly a year. Um, yeah, it's been a minute. Also, here we have the travel section of body care items, personal care, Lysol wipes. I like this because... The reason why I like this is because it gives you an opportunity to try new products, even as you're traveling. So if you don't normally like, for example, we're going to use this Nivea body lotion, even though it wasn't focusing the way that it was supposed to. Okay. <laughs> you can always implement new products into your regimen as you travel on the road. That's why they have these sections like this. And then for you to try new products. So I like I like, maybe, maybe a little bit, you know, love it, love it, love, love, love it. Burt's Bees always, you know, taking care of the lips, making sure the, your soup coolers is very hydrated. Okay. Um, for the men, I would suggest just regular chapstick, you know, blistics, nothing tinted. Then we have Nivea here for the men again. You know, this was on, right behind me. Right behind me, where we, where I was just going over the body washes, the body lotions here were behind me. Lots of skincare, catering to psoriasis, catering to your working hands, O'Keeffe's. And then we have a Vino's hand mask and foot mask. I like that. It's really getting you into the arena of self-care. Then we have sanitizing kits shampoo and conditioner this is just a more close up section of the travel items shampoo and conditioner a little different than from the first area of travel items as far as self-care is concerned then we have the hand sanitizers first aid kits got a you know got a gargwood colgate listerine scope some can we walk around with hot breath <laughs> Not even when you're traveling. Then we have feminine care, of course, here. Always. There was everything on this aisle from my doll, taking care of those cramps, ladies, the liners, the feminine wash, Summer's Eve, Vagisil, Summer's Eve Active. There was even this one here that was like rose, rose all day. I'm pretty sure I butchered that, but that's okay. <laughs> Including the always pads. I was looking for those liners. Always has liners out in that same similar type of packaging. 
first discovered that back in my most recent Target vlog. Then they have here other varieties, other absorbencies. They also have it for teenagers. So, you know, if you have a teenager, a young lady, you know, I'm just showing you guys the options here in case you frequent CVS often or any other stores you frequent. You know, maybe it's an emergency, you never know. This pretty much concludes my trip and I see there, there were some uh, facial wipes, but that was uh, all the body care for now. Good morning. I wanna wear this head wrap, no matter what color I'm wearing. Cause I'm, I'm at home, I'm at home. I have to finish up my laundry. And fold that other load. And that's the majority of what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to give myself a nice pedicure. Because um, I'll show you. These these feet is looking, um, as far as the uh, coat of polish, just barely. <laughs> <sighs> no coffee for me today. It, it's gone. It's gone. No, no more in the house. I'm so glad. Or having our good old fashioned H2O water. And do what we got to do. It doesn't look like it but this is actually the color of that custom acrylic dip powder I made pedicure is finished now I looked a little ashy when I finished but I want to show you guys the final reveal plus what it looks like with my new full set of nails which I'm ready to still cut this length now I feel like it's too much even though I cut it down half an inch of these now I just feel like now I want to add some sparkle to it, like my hands. Yeah. Now we can fold this laundry. Oh. 